Now we have to land on the uh, this battlement walkway in order to access this last orb, which is probably one of the more out of the way orbs of the game. Kind of have to be a good, have a good. Uh, We'll like to explore, really, to kind of find everything in the Spyro games. Which is good, because I love just like looking around these levels, they're pretty cool. So now we're missing... how many gems, I wonder? Well done, Spyro! Got another speedway there. Now we're missing gems. There's some more. Is that it? No. Still not all of them. All right, we'll have to go back up the ladder and have a, another look around. I usually always miss gems in this level because there's a uh, I suppose it's the nature of the way gems are just kind of dropped randomly around the levels. There's no kind of sequence uh, or logical path. Well, there's a kind of general logical path that you can follow to find them, but um, they are arrayed in such a way that you kind of have to go. You have to backtrack and go a little bit out of your way to find them to find all of them. There it is. God damn it. <laughs> so easy to spot. And yet, well, so blatantly placed yet not that easy to spot. Anyway, back to Summer Forest. Okay, we've got a couple of things to complete here. We have to complete the homeworld itself through uh, the use of the climb skill, which isn't difficult to do since it's right up here. There's something shiny at the top. Surely that's everything. What have I missed? There we go. Finally, summer forest complete. So yes, take my failures as a lesson if you're playing this game. Be very vigilant about your treasure hunting. Because you never know, you might end up wasting a lot of time searching for stuff later on when you're under the impression that all you have yet to uh, get is um, the stuff only unlockable later on in the game when you have to come back. Um, so yeah, last quest, Sunny Beach. Now 
there's uh, just a bunch of gems, cool, quite a few gems really, in this level, that we still have to get. Now the first lot is located just up here. And they are of course straightforward to get at. I believe that's all of them. The other uh, stuff we need to do is at the very end of this level, because uh, you stupid turtles got in the way. Stupid baby turtles. Move! Okay. Last remaining thing to do is to... Hello, young one. Climb this ladder and defeat the chef. And possibly one of the hardest, uh, well, first one's okay. Have to keep the, uh, turtles out of the cauldron. Not particularly difficult. He says, <laughs> almost failing. And ah, oh, almost. So you see. Okay, that one's straightforward and it gives you the idea of what you have to do for the next one. Next one, very hard. If you step a little close. But by no means the hardest challenge in this in Spyro 2, but it's uh, definitely one of the last ones I ended up doing. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Yay, that was lucky. Oh, shit. Crap. No, ah, oh, damn you. See, it's a highly irritating challenge. But really all it requires is patience, just uh, line up your shots, you should be okay. So after many tries, that's about it, and I believe we shall be calling it a day. Um, and I'll be back next time to make a start on Autumn Plains. So until then, have a good one, and I'll catch you later. Actually, no I won't. Uh, not quite done. I forgot to show you the remaining gems of uh, this level. Which are located in this area. Kind of out of the way. And there's still more somewhere. Crap.
There it is. There's a number of them that I completely forgot about. A very large portion of gems. Totally never remember this section of the level because you do it once and then forget about it. There we go. Everything is done finally. And now that is legit the end of the session and I'll catch you guys next time.